Hello everybody and welcome back to the Don't Escape series. In this video I am continuing with Don't Escape 3. So let's get started. Now, while this isn't the last game in the series, this is the last game that was released for free on Newgrounds. The next game, you had to pay for it on Steam. <laughs> I will explain more when we get to that video. But anyway, let's increase the brightness a bit. With a terrible headache, like someone hit my head really hard. Things were coming back to me slowly. I knew I was a pilot of this starship, the UEFS Horizon. But I had no idea how I wound up in here. I also had no idea what I didn't like more. The fact that I woke up in the ship's airlock or the fact that the computer was counting down to something. Uh-oh. It's locked. Okay. Open interior door. Emergency ejection procedure in progress. Unable to comply. Ejection procedure in progress. Abort ejection procedure. of space is behind this door. Okay, internal door is closed. Initiate ejection procedure. No, I've had enough of that. With decompression. Without a spacesuit, that would be suicide. Internal door is open. That's me. I should take my data pad first. Mission log. We've located what is left of the derelict. Something tore it apart like a tin can. We found something among the debris. Remains. I think they're human remains. We also found some strange glowing crystal attached to the bones. We brought it on board for further analysis. Dr. Grodberg will perform the test in Tests in the library. In the laboratory, Rick says there was another crystal floating in space. We'll have to check that later. I should check the ship's status first. Okay, the map. We got life support, isolation ward, lab, airlock, escape pod, bedroom. Restroom, shower, missile, engineering, core, currently, I think, and the bridge. And the status, accessing ship status. Navigation is offline, communications are offline. Warning, life support is offline, air will run out in an hour. Distress call. Possible intruder alert. Worry. Okay, my personal data pad. Engineering in the lab. 
he's dead. I didn't know him well. His name was Rick, I think. A welding mask. Someone stepped on it. It's crushed and useless. These are the creatures. It's too dark to see.
Ghosts that are pretty much useless. Nest of blood on them. Fuel for plasma torch. Plasma torch fuel tank. There we go. We got a fuel for plasma torch. Door to the bunk room. It's locked.
access card. That will be useful. Access card. Okay, let's see what this opens. Can we use this on the captain's console? Access denied. This card doesn't grant enough privileges. Okay. So now to that card. The toolbox, escape pod, escape pod computer, escape pod ready, escape pod is ready. Sure you sure you want to use the escape pod? Yes. Ship's contamination level. Uh, excuse me.
glass and stagger mass of bottles. I've taken a bottle of acid. I don't need any more acid now. First aid. I've taken some antibiotics. Crystal, or at 
least weaken it so it may be destroyed by force. An explosion might work. The sound is getting louder. We can still get out of here if we want. Okay. Unfortunate. <coughs> Dr. Grodberg's chemical recipe.
stands for a word. Creating decrease to 30. Okay. So, we gotta do something else. Let's see if we can do it.
probably be a bad idea. <laughs>
destroy with a bomb by putting it directly in its nest. The laboratory section has been completely obliterated. Was that enough? Open the bomb and learn the truth. slowly. I knew I was a pilot of this starship, the UEFS Horizon, but I had no idea how I wound up in here. I also had no idea what I didn't like more. The fact that I woke up in the ship's airlock, or the fact that the computer was counting down to something. It's Emergency ejection procedure in progress. So vacuum of space is behind this door. Internal door is closed. Initiate ejection procedure. No, I've had enough of that. Decompression. 
Without a spacesuit, that would be suicide. Let's open the internet. A spacesuit. I need an access card to open the casing. Okay, we'll get to that. That's me. That's the airlock. I should take my data pad first. Mission log. We've located what is left of the derelict. Something torn apart like a tin can. We found some. We found something among the debris. Remains. I think they're human remains. We also found some strange glowing crystal attached to the bones. We brought it on board for further analysis. Dr. Grodberg performed tests. Rick says there was another crystal floating in space, but we'll have to check that later. I should check the ship's status first. Accessing ship's status. Navigation is offline. Communications are offline. Warning, life support is offline. Air will run out. Distress call activated. Warning, possible intruder alert. My personal data. Engineering. Fuse box. One fuse is missing. The console is locked. It won't budge. Manual release door. 7B. Cut here. I need a tool of some sort. Okay. Fuse box. One fuse is missing. Access mission orders. 
Initial tests, Dr. Amanda Grodberg. Subject is what appears to be an upper half of human remains. All of the soft tissues decomposed, which suggests that death occurred long before its exposure to the vacuum of space. There is a large crystal form attached to the bones in the, in the abdominal region. The crystal itself produces a bright light. Despite being highly energetic, no other forms of radiation have been observed. However, it seems to be emitting subtle acoustic vibrations. Further tests are required. Okay, the other side is covered with blue crystal. It won't open. The crystal is holding the door in place. So we need to find a help us with that. Without protection, plasma, the plasma flare will burn my eyes out. That's me. Deal with it. Cutting here might damage the police switch. So we gotta cut it around. Someone 
that first log mentioned there was a crystal floating in space. So Thank you. 
pour in here ends up in the fire sprinkler, so let's pour in the
corrupted and cannot be displayed. You can recover the video, but restoring the feed will require the user's attention. The process will take approximately 15 minutes. Attempt to decode the recording. Yes. charges. 
as the explosion consumed you together with the rest of the world. It's probably the best thing to do, really. I wouldn't want to doom the entire world, I would say, the entire universe, the entire human race, just to save myself. The UEFS Warsaw found nothing more than scrap metal floating in space. to serve.